Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, I'll be showing you how to send and receive UDP packets with Python. So, I already have all the code written out, but I'll be going through it line by line, explaining what each line does, and I'll teach you how to do this in, in the simplest fashion. So, let's just jump right into it. So, here I have a file called main.py open, and the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be using sockets in order to communicate via UDP. So, I'm importing the socket library, and then I'm setting the local IP, the local port, and the buffer size. So this local IP is just the IP address of my device, and the port is simply the port that I'll be using to communicate over. So I can change this port to 4012 or whatever number really that isn't occupied that the computer allows you to communicate over. And then here is just a message that we'll be using to send back to the UDP client, message from server equals hello UDP client, and you'll see when where we're going to implement that later on. And then we're going to convert this message into bytes. So we're saying bytes to send equals string dot encode message from server. And this encode method just turns this string into a series of bytes. And then I'm creating the socket that we're going to communicate with. So UDP server socket equals socket dot socket and import the necessary parameters and then we're binding this socket with the local IP of my device and that port so now we can use this socket to actually communicate so here we created the socket and now we're implementing the socket with our actual device specifications and then we'll just send a simple message to the console saying that the UDP server is up and listening and within this while loop we're going to be actually listening for the UDP messages that we'll be receiving so we have a bytes address pair, and this bytes address pair contains both the message and the address that the message comes from. So that's why it's in an array. So we have bytes address pair equals UDP server socket dot receive from buffer size. And here we've set the buffer size to 1024. And then the message that we're going to receive is the first element in this array. So that's why we're using the zero index. And the address will be the first index of this bytes address pair array. And so now we're just setting the variables of the, both the message and the IP. So the client message equals, and then we'll put message from client. And then we just format it. And the reason I put message.decode was because remember up here we said message.string.encode. And this would turn it from a byte message or from a string message into a byte. This just converts it back to strings. And then the client IP will be the address. And then we simply print them both out and then we send back the message that we received or we send back the message that we created up here. So UDP server socket dot send to bytes to send and then the address that we're sending it to is the address that we received the message from. All right, so let's just test it out and see how it works. So I have a Ubuntu shell open right here. Let's clear it really quickly. And let's open up the terminal of this VS code. And first I'm going to run the code that we just written. So Python main.py. As you can see here, it says UDP server up and listening as we wrote up here. So that means we know it's working at least up to that point. And now let's send a message via the Ubuntu shell. So I'll use the netcat and then dash u. We'll say that we're sending it over UDP. And then we specify the address we're sending it to. Remember, my IP is 192.168.0.169. And the port, we've specified that it's 4010. 4010. All right, so now let's send a message. So I'll just say hi. And as you can see here, I received a message back saying hello UDP client as we wrote right here. And then within our actual terminal, we say message from client is hi. And the IP address is the same one we specified up here because it's coming from my device. If you send it from a different device, it'll show a different IP address, but you'll still receive the same message back. So let's just try another message. Hello, this is Steam Code. As you can see, the message was sent. So you can see with this, you can create a very simple chat application. The limits to this are endless and with UDP, the message sending speed is very fast. You can data log, you can do a various number, a countless number of things with 
this application. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below or in my Discord channel where I'll try to get to it. And this has been Steam Code. I will see you next time.